1914, Professor Pakali and his eager student Billy delve into ancient Egyptian ruins. Deciphering a prophecy etched on the wall, Pakali unveils a looming threat. The cyclical arrival of a destructive force called evil, set to annihilate inhabited planets every five millennia. Only a weapon combining the four elements, water, fire, earth, and air, along with a fifth, perfect entity, can thwart evil's rampage. A treacherous priest, alarmed by Pakali's revelations, attempts to poison him but is thwarted when Pakali declines the water, opting for alcohol instead. Suddenly, a starship lands atop the pyramid, revealing towering robotic beings known as Mondashans. The priest recognizes them as custodians of ancient relics and aids their retrieval, except for the coveted fifth element, arousing concern. Three centuries later, the prophesied evil draws near Earth. President Lindbergh mobilizes defenses, including a military spaceship armed to confront evil. Amidst the chaos, Priest Vito tries to impart the significance of the fifth element but is disregarded, leading to a futile assault on evil, which retaliates by obliterating the soldiers effortlessly. Simultaneously, the Mondashans, aiming to counter evil with their superweapon, are ambushed by rogue aliens, the Mangalores, who seize the elemental stones. The stolen stones become a bargaining chip between the Mangalores and Zork, an agent aligned with evil. Meanwhile, Corbin, a former soldier, faces a petty thief, skillfully outwitting him. As Corbin embarks on his cab-driving shift, a discovery from the wrecked Mondoshawan ship sparks intrigue among scientists. Using advanced technology, they recreate a stunning woman from the recovered hand, marveling at her perfection. The awakening woman, confused and distressed, breaks free, evading capture by navigating through the building's ventilation system. Encountering police, she pleads for help, catching Corbin's attention. Initially reluctant, Corbin's empathy prevails, setting the stage for an unexpected alliance. Corbin accelerates, initiating a thrilling chase through familiar city streets. Employing skillful maneuvers, he outweets pursuing police cars, causing one to crash and evading gunfire by veering into a dense fog. Amidst the chaos, Leela's health deteriorates, murmuring, Priest, before losing consciousness. Corbin, seeking aid, stumbles upon Vito's abode, where Lilu's unique mark prompts instant recognition as the fifth element. Vito and his assistant David scramble to find ceremonial robes while Corbin, attempting a gentle awakening with a kiss, faces Lilu's defensive reaction. Introductions reveal her name's lengthiness, quickly shortened to Lilu. After receiving the tomb key from Vito, Lilu immerses herself in learning and adaptation, mastering language and martial arts. Meanwhile, the Mangalores strike a deal with Zorg, who unveils advanced weaponry capabilities. An explosive turn of events leaves the Mangalores vanquished as Zorg uncovers an empty box, realizing the stones are elsewhere. Lilu, collaborating with Vito, unveils the stone's location, held by a renowned singer aboard Flost in Paradise. Zorg confronts Vito for information, extolling his belief in chaos driving progress. A moment of vulnerability prompts Vito's observation about the futility of power against simple vulnerabilities, earning a begrudging respect from Zorg. As Corbin's mundane life abruptly shifts with a covert mission revelation, including rigged contest winnings, a surprise visit from Vito and Lilu adds further complexity. With soldiers hidden, Corbin faces a dilemma that could reshape his destiny. Vito swiftly draws his weapon on Corbin, insisting they need the tickets to secure the stones. Suddenly, the apartment alarm blares, signaling a police sweep. Corbin conceals Li Lu in the sink and Vito in a cleverly concealed bed, playing innocent as the police conduct their search. A neighbor's mistake leads the police to arrest the wrong person, unwittingly aiding Corbin's ruse. In the ensuing chaos, Mangalores ambush the police convoy, seeking vengeance and the stones. Act not, surviving Zorg's bomb, orchestrates the theft. Once safe, Corbin releases Lilu and Vito from hiding, only for Vito to betray him, incapacitate Corbin, and snatch the tickets. Awakening to an empty apartment, Corbin discovers the mission letter and reluctantly agrees to cooperate. At the airport, David assumes Corbin's identity with Lilu as his wife, 
but Corbin's timely arrival averts suspicion. Boarding the spacecraft, complications arise with imposters attempting to claim Corbin and Lilu's identities. Zorg's henchman fails, leading to fatal consequences. Meanwhile, Vito infiltrates the ship unnoticed. Inside, Corbin's coerced into a celebrity show by Ruby, but his defiance leads to a tense confrontation. Joined by Lilu in their pod, they converse briefly before being sedated for the journey. Elsewhere, Evil's warning prompts urgency from Zorg. Upon landing at Planet Floston, Vito's discovered, and Corbin investigates their accommodations while Lilu observes Diva's arrival. Diva senses Lilu's presence, arranging a post-concert meeting. As Diva enchants the audience, Zorg's faction attempts a heist, foiled by Lilu's formidable combat skills, proving her status as the fifth element. The altercation escalates with Zorg's confrontation, setting the stage for a critical showdown. Filled with fear and desperate to defend herself, Lilu hurls the box at Zorg and dives into the ventilation system to evade his gunfire. Zorg, believing he has wounded her, sets a bomb and departs. Meanwhile, more Mangalores storm the hotel, taking hostages and disrupting the concert. Amidst the chaos, Diva is shot and Corbin rushes to her aid. With her dying breath, Diva reveals the stones are concealed within her body. While Zorg finds the box empty and prepares to return, a battle erupts in the theater. Corbin retrieves the stones from Diva's body, entrusting them to Ruby for safekeeping. As more Mangalores flood in, Corbin fights fiercely, using every resource to protect the stones. With strategic maneuvers, Corbin manages to eliminate many attackers, though more arrive. A daring move by Corbin results in a grenade explosion that clears the immediate threat. The conflict escalates as Corbin and Ruby confront the remaining Mangalores, leading to negotiations that turn violent. Amidst the turmoil, Lilu's hand is spotted, prompting a rescue mission. The team narrowly escapes the impending explosion, but Evil's imminent arrival poses a new threat. Racing against time, the team heads to Egypt to activate the stones. Lilu's injuries hinder her, but with collective effort, they activate each stone with its corresponding element. Corbin's heartfelt plea persuades Lilu to believe in humanity's capacity for love, culminating in a transformative kiss. The activation of the ultimate weapon, combined with Lilu's awakening as the fifth element, vanquishes evil upon its arrival. With the crisis averted, Corbin and Lilu receive medical attention, and Lindbergh expresses gratitude for their heroism. However, an unexpected twist occurs as the scientists discover Corbin and Lilu engaged in a playful moment inside the DNA pod, adding a humorous note to the story's conclusion.